your destination on the left. myself marble kid 87 what's up dude what's going on man hanging out hanging out and uh we had a we had a conversation with the officers here they arrested all the drug dealers and they're making it really hard for me to get a dime bag hi <laughs> root beer just root beer Sorry. what up we'll go ahead and plug your your channel in man what's up guys come to bike spirits and brews and listen to some asshole talk about really dumb shit all the time because that's what i do <laughs>
first ticket up here. We were really, really lucky because they, they just finished giving us tickets. I'm looking for the gray bike. And they, they, they were like, listen, all these bikes here are about to get towed. So if you guys want to get towed, just get out of here. So we were literally just pulling up. That would have sucked. I never seen this guy smile through a tinted visor. I could see your smile from finding that fob. How crazy is that? It's pretty crazy that we're back to find it, man. This if, I guy, just, if I would've just gave up and be like, you know what, oh, I'm not gonna find it, I just got a new one. I would've found it. This guy literally, Determination. literally, accidentally dropped his fob at the most packed bar I've seen in my life. Went home 30 miles, <laughs> said hi to the family, took a little 45 minute snooze, came back. I got up, I said, fuck this, we're gonna find it. Got it back. Then I got a bug in my eye. Now we're over here, about to get a victory cigar. Where's the place at? I don't know, I think it's here. All right, so crazy story. We were at the um, at that bar earlier. Uh, we get a bike to eat there. We hang out for about an hour or two right there. Um, we go over to the bikes. We're unlocking the bags because I had to lock my bags because I had all my stuff in there. And um, without knowing, drop my key fob on the dirt. It was this big, huge dirt parking lot. Um, and then obviously the bike turned on because the key fob was right there. We took off and then we went to our Airbnb, which we haven't been to yet. We get there. And we get to the wrong house. We turn off the bike, and I'm like, wait a minute, we're, this is the wrong house. We're actually down the road. I go turn on the bike, it won't turn on because once you turn it off, it's not gonna turn on. So yeah, come to find out, lost my key fob. I ended up finding out how to turn the bike on using the the, Kim, the, the pin pad. Um, so, which I might do a video on that because I, I didn't even know how to do it, but Pablo helped me out. So I wanna do a video for you guys in case anybody has that same issue later on. Um, but yeah, uh, we go, we rest for like two hours in the house and then I'm like, you know what? Like, let's just go back. Like, I, I need to go try to find it. I, it needs to be in the dirt somewhere. We go back and there's nowhere to be found where I, uh, had parked my bike. Um, then I'm asking the guy, like, oh yeah, we, we, uh, we found it earlier. We gave it to so-and-so. I went to ask that person by the gate. Oh yeah, we gave it to so-and-so. Went over there, asked, point blank, I asked like five people. And it was like, yeah, the next person has it, the next person has it, the next person has it. I found the key pop though, so amazing. So uh, now we're at, um, at a cigar shop over here. So we're gonna have a little, little victory run, celebrate. Um, just the way I wanted to end the day with a nice cigar and that's it. I usually smoke a flavor. Acids, that, that's, that's what I like. That's what I like smoking, man. And then we got this cute little fella right here. What's up, buddy? Guys, so we are here at Etiquette Cigars. We've been here probably for the past like three hours smoking. Uh, real cool place right here, real loungy. Um, we've been just watching UFC fights and YouTube out here as well. One of the guys who uh, owns the place here. Right on. I'm Jake with Etiquette Cigars. We're the only cigar lounge in the whole Lakes region. Come on by, BYOB, and uh, come smoke some premium hand-rolled cigars. 
There you go. So if you are in the New Hampshire area, check this guy out. Really cool guy. Day two. It is a beautiful day out here in beautiful Vermont. Blue skies, clear skies, baby. So what we got planned today is to A, go have breakfast, number one, because we are starving. And two, after that, we're gonna be spending half of the day at the uh, Laconia Harley Davidson dealership. Um, so there are a few vendors there. So obviously we wanna go by there, see what's going on. Um, and then after that, head back to the strip on Lake Drive, uh, get a drink over there, hang around, see all the bikes and everything. We are expecting a lot of rainstorms after 6 p.m. So at least we got the bulk of the day to do everything that we want to do. Um, we just gotta go gas up right now because we are on empty. We're on fumes right now. Um, and that's yeah, it. So we are here at the uh, Harley Davidson at Laconia. Got some vendors right here. We got. Uh, JP Cycles in the back. Oh, we got Legends here too. I didn't even see that. Uh, Monster Audio, uh, Mustang Seat. We're gonna stop by there. Uh, Monster Bright LEDs. And is that it? That's pretty much it. Um, we got some vendors down here. This is the lower parking lot. And then we're gonna go up around to the dealership. And they got a bunch of more vendors up there. So we'll take a look around, show you guys the bikes real quick as well. A lot of cool stuff out here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And Peanuts faces in here too. Oh, you're recording me? <laughs> I'm recording you too. Bottom line now, and um, 
Over here we got Flex Audio. We have, we got, oh, we got some pinstrap in here as well. Yo, you want to do some pinstrap into your bike? Hogwarts. right here and Flex Audio already has something built for it which is right here so I just want to show you guys real quick this is a black chrome that Basani is now doing uh, we got this one on this 2022 Lowrider ST right here and it looks sick Black chrome been saying their chrome's coming back. Whether it be a real chrome or black chrome, it's coming back. It looks like I might be switching my exhaust. Chrome is coming back. I think I might get it. That's sick, bro. I really like that. That's so sick. That's why I wanted the chrome works exhaust because of that color. Now they make a two into one. <laughs> Look who we ran on? into here. Oh, there's some dirty jersey Where's in the, the building. What's up, bro? How you doing, John? My boy, Pino. How you doing? How you doing, man? Oh, I heard about you. Hey, I know Jerry. Jerry. Hey, oh, hey, there he is. Jerry was talking about him. Man. How you doing, bro? You got Glenn in the building. What's up, man? What are we doing? I'm about to, I think you're about to, you, you know what you look like? You look like an Uber Eats delivery guy. <laughs> they should partner with them. Hey, Uber. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Uber Eats, you guys want to sponsor Uber Eats. Uh, Waterproof peanuts? right here. I can deliver your food. Keeps it warm. Doesn't get wet. Oh, yeah, this is it. Steve, I want to show you his amazing rope glide right here. It's pretty crazy. Um, he's part of uh, Performance Cycles MTS Customs right here. So I actually just picked up, picking up uh, the bracket for the Baja lights that you see right here. So I do have the Baja lights coming in. So I picked up the bracket from them. I'm going to be dropping down their, the link in the description down below so you guys can oh, check them out and everything. Up. Um, but yeah, this is his bike. What, uh, what, what do you got on it? Uh, it's a Twin Cam 107. Um, Built top to bottom of the Pro Charger, making 206, 175. 206, 175. I just have on my uh, my lowrider rest. Love them. Where's your pipe? Oh, what is it? Really? Motorsport Speedway, baby. 
Let's see what we got going over here. We got a few uh, vendors. He just pointed something out to me. So this bike has been running all goddamn day. So he was like, listen, do you smell that? I'm like, yeah, it smells like perfume. He's like, no, it's exhaust. So he walks me over here. So it's, 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 well, you tell, what, what is it? This is now, an exhaust. Now that you're an AMS oil It's an exhaust guy. cologne. And it's different flavors. Right, that, that's, um, who's your daddy is in there right now. It smells like your car, if you ever had that. But there's different flavors. It'll do 20 gallons for a car or five gallons for a bike. That's awesome. And it's, this is cool. It, it, it literally, gone. it doesn't, you really smell no exhaust fumes whatsoever. Like, it's like you're. So you're, if you're behind your buddy, and he, you're behind your couple buddies, and you're, you won't smell any exhaust. Well, he smells crazy. beautifulness. That's crazy, it's, it's really pretty cool. Yeah, it's an awesome, uh, an awesome invention. Bunch of cool stuff here at the uh, Amsoil tent right here. Well, Bunch of products for your stuff. Out of Acadia, there's only people to go to. Yeah, come here. Clean up. What, 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 what does that smell like? That, that exhaust fume? What does it smell like? What does it smell like? Smell like cologne? What is it, like Stetson? That's like, that, it's, it's, it's like a cologne for, for, that you mix in and it, it makes your exhaust yeah. sound like that. Really? It's crazy, dude. <laughs> this bike run been running for six and a half years, eight to ten hours a day. That's crazy. Like this. That's crazy. Just and, uh, All right, so we grouped up. We are about to go have dinner somewhere, I'm not sure where. I thought we were like heading into Maine or something because we went on the road for I don't know how long. But um, yeah, pretty cool event over the, by the racetrack. By the way, huge shout out to everyone who has passed by and said what's up. It's, it's crazy, man. I'm just a kid from Jersey, man. And the fact that people in New Hampshire out here come up to me like, hey, you're a horrible kid from YouTube. Like, yeah. Up. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so huge shout out to everyone who has passed by. So what's up? And uh, thanks for watching the channel, man. This is what it's all about right here. New Hampshire is beautiful. If you guys haven't been to New Hampshire, the roads up here are beautiful. Scenic rides are amazing. There's lakes and mountains everywhere. A lot of twisty roads. It's just really great. I have the, the most special plate on the table. Oh man, look at this. The most special plate on the salad. table I had. I ordered salad. Because I like, I like to eat clean. But the, these guys over here. Uh, that's that's the, that's fancy, fancy, fancy lobster tails and lobster rolls. Life's too short to eat clean. This guy here ordered five lobster rolls. That's it. He, he had them go to Maine right now to pick them up, fish them out. Look at the bucket of beans. What did you get for, for dinner? Big beans. What is that? That's it? No. Lobster. <laughs> That's a lobster roll. Okay. Hey. What, is that? what is that called again? Loaded mashed potatoes. Oh, oh I thought it was the uh oh, the, the, the cabbage. That is loaded. Loaded. Yeah. Oh that's loaded and yours is the other one. Thank you. Yeah, of course. That was really good. Really good. Irene, now what is this called again? Yeah. That's, uh, that's All right. Look good? Nice way to uh, end the day. It was a really good ride coming over here. Enjoy um, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Day three. Uh, last day. We're packed everything up. We're on our way home right now. We got about a five hour ride home. Um, New Hampshire. New Hampshire has been beautiful. Just look at this whole. Look at that. Beautiful lake right there. The whole scenery is just amazing. Blue skies, clear skies, baby. Mother Nature has blessed us again. It was supposed to rain all morning, but that went somewhere else. High of 75s. I had a great time. Shout out to everyone who stopped by and said what's up at the uh, rally. My first official rally. Laconia was my first official big rally. Um, I had a blast. 
Had a really good time. Met a lot of cool and nice people out here. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a great trip. Logged in some great miles with my boy Peanuts right here. And um, this will be one of many long trips to come. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's content. If you want to see more stuff like this, tune in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button. That's what will notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And that's it. We got five hours to go. I'll see you later. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.